Welcome to the Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. The podcast where we make five-minute decisions that can change your business, your relationships, and your life. Hey, this is Dean Soto, founder of prosulum.com and freedomin5minutes.com. And I'm here again for another Freedom in 5 Minutes podcast. Today's episode is, that is a ruthless bot you have there. That and more coming up. (coughs) Oh, another beautiful day here. Another beautiful day in the country. If you haven't listened to the last few episodes, been having some doggy troubles. We've had we got a new Connie Corso dog, and man, oh man, has she had some issues. <laughs> so, all of that being said, I wasn't able to do a podcast yesterday. Normally, I try and do them every day, but had I been, I get up around four thirty <laughs> and do my thing, and then I get. I'm with the dog and then I go about the rest of the day, but I have to be with the dog two to three hours a day just because of her medical conditions. You could go in the past podcast to find out what exactly is happening. But all that being said, today's topic is a pretty cool one. So one thing that I personally have a problem with when it comes to making decisions (laughs) <laughs> is when I have to make a decision. <laughs> what I mean by that is, so today I had, I, ha, I, I oh, actually I should not say today, over the last few weeks, I've had a, a couple of my clients refer me just a ton of people, which is cool. I am, that tells me that everything's awesome with my virtual assistant agency service and my consulting service and so on at prosulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com. <coughs> so they're loving it, which is great, but that means I have to follow up. And then one of my sticking points, one of the things that I always yeah, not always, but I, I feel bad is is that moment when when you get introduced and you you have to schedule that call, right? You have to you have to say something to the effect of, "Hey, uh, hey, Steve, thank you so much for referring me. You're amazing." Or "Thank you so much for the intro. That's great." And then uh, then you have to address the other person in the email. Oh, hey, so yeah, uh, I would love to see if you're a good fit and what time do you have free or you, I have a better way of doing it sales wise, but no matter what, I always feel kind of, I don't know, to me, it's sometimes it feels a little, uh, <laughs> a little odd. Uh, I, not sometimes all the time. <clears throat> so my mind starts racing and starts imagining all of the bad things that could happen. I start imagining how they're going to respond or if they're going to respond and all this other stuff. And so I've actually had to put in place things that will, that will allow me to just do, do it and forget it. And so as these customers were referring me, I, I use a, personally, I use a tool called x.ai. So if you go to x.ai, it's a scheduling tool. It's a bot called Amy or Andrew, depending on if you want a male or female, and the bot will schedule things for you. And the cool thing is they will, they essentially will email the person three or four times in order to schedule the initial, and to even just to get the initial response from a person, and so one one of the referrals I got, though actually one of this this one came from this one actually came from a paid advertising thing that I was doing. <coughs> they responded to my email, and I and I responded right away, just saying, "Hey, Amy, can you schedule a time with so and so, and call it virtual assistant discussion with so and so and Prosulum." <laughs> well, the cool thing was I had not heard from the guy in about a week, I want to say. And what happened was the guy 
from what I from what I can tell, the guy said, "Oh, to Amy, oh, remind me, can you just re- reach out to me next week?" And Amy said, "No problem." The bot. This is a bot. This is an artificial intelligence doing this. No problem. I'll I'll check you. Out. I'll I'll contact you next week. Well, guess what? <laughs> She contacted him the next week and would not, she was relentless in her contacting. So when I actually got on the phone with this guy, he, he's, he, his initial thing was, oh my gosh, that Amy thing, she's ruthless, that your bot is ruthless. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I never realized it because it's set and forget. And I purposely do it that way so I can make these quick decisions. Because for me, I personally don't like... I feel like I'm I'm putting people out if I'm constantly following up. And so in order for me to quit, make a quick five-minute decision to even reach out to people, I put things in place such as Amy, the bot, the scheduling bot, to <coughs> reach out on my behalf and to follow up on my behalf and to literally be totally cold-hearted <laughs> and ruthless when it comes to following up with someone. She will follow up no matter what. It's awesome. So today, I was doing the same thing with my referrals. I, I started thinking, I started, in the back of my mind, I started thinking, oh, gosh, I don't want to reach out to these referrals because what if they don't respond? In fact, there was one referral where I did not use Amy And I just introduced myself and I said, hey, how's it going? Let's schedule a time. And they never responded. Well, lo and behold, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to make the decision now. We'll see what happens. I sucked, I uh, sicked Amy on, I sicked Amy on all of the referrals. And that one referral that basically ignored my previous email was the first one to schedule an appointment for a phone call for a sales call. That's pretty dang cool. For me, the decision was fast and the implementation was even faster because <coughs> because I I literally had to just write Amy, comma, can you schedule a time and call it yada 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 and she went out and started scheduling. I don't I I don't see what goes on in the background. In fact, there was one guy who I was going to follow up with that, that I needed to follow up with, so all I did was go in and click the follow up button and there she goes she goes and starts following up with the person it the whole point of this why is this important it's important because often the reason why we don't make decisions is because we know there's going to be a lot of work afterward or we have something in our mind an imagination of what is actually going to occur or what's going to happen for me i think people are going to get pissed off at me for or get butt hurt because i'm following up a lot And so I make it easy on myself by putting things such as that scheduling bot in place. Or maybe it might be my virtual assistants who reach out, my staff who reach out to people. My staff are amazing and they work hand in hand with my clients. They're the front lines of my clients. So I usually don't see anything that's going on unless it's actually something that's important. (coughs) And so... And so it allows me and it allows you to be able to make decisions without feeling the stress of what could potentially happen (laughs) or just, you know, normally, you know, if you don't like getting rejected, you have, you can have your bot get rejected. I've had that happen before, which is great. You just see, oh, I wasn't able to reach out to people or to, to, to this person, or they canceled the meeting or they canceled, told me to stop contacting them, whatever it might be. (coughs) It's a great way to make quick decisions to, when you can put employees in place or you can put a system in place or a piece of technology in place that allows you to just quickly do it and let it run let it do its thing all right so what is what right now do you have whether it's with your family your business whatever it might be what's one thing that you can set up to where it makes your decision easy for me when I'm scheduling something, I literally just have to write a sentence out in reply on the email and copy my scheduling bot and it gets done. 
what is that one thing for you? I want you to find that one thing so that you can start making quick decisions without worrying about the work that's going to be involved later because you already have something that's already set up in that way. All right. Maybe for your family, it could be something like having a chore board. So you can make the decision of what chores need to be done for your kids and you just boom, 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 put them up there and don't worry about it. They can go and see what chores they need to do and it's done rather than nagging and nagging and nagging and nagging and nagging and never, and just constantly be in that mode, that stressful mode. <coughs> so what's that one thing right now that you can do that will provide... I would say provide a buffer between the decision and the work that needs to be done with that decision. What's that one thing that you can put in right now? And I challenge you this week to put that one thing in place and see how much freedom you get from putting that one little system in place so that you can consistently make that quick decision. All right. Well, this is Dean in uh, Dean Soto. This is freedominfivemins.com. Go to uh, go, if you haven't already. So if you subscribed, that's awesome. Subscribe to the podcast. That's great. If you have not got the seven secret exclusive episodes yet, go to freedominfivemins.com and check out those raw episodes. They are completely raw. They're seven really high value episodes. They don't, <laughs> they don't have the intro music and everything like that because they were episodes that I recorded as I was developing this entire podcast anyway. But the, the, the ideas in those episodes are absolutely amazing. So you can get those at freedominfivminutes.com. If you're not subscribed to the podcast yet on iTunes, when you go to freedominfivminutes.com and you subscribe there, it will give you a link to go and subscribe in the iTunes uh, podcast, a uh, little podcast area. And you can go and subscribe there. <coughs> The best part about it is we're going to be doing some some emails, yeah, the daily emails that will correspond to e- to uh, that will challenge you every every day to make amazing decisions that'll push you forward toward your goals, your targets, and your dreams. All right, Dean Soto, Freedom in Five Minutes dot com, and I will see you in the next Freedom in Five Minutes podcast episode.